afternoon everyone. So now let's continue to the next chapters about the National Bullying Code of the Philippines. So I will cover the chapter 4 to 6 which are about the types of construction, requirements and fire zone and fire resistive requirements in construction. So let's proceed to the chapter 4. So under the section 401, there are different 5 different types of construction wherein the first 3 types of construction tells that the building shall be of wood construction but the difference is that in the second type of construction the building may use a fire retardant treated wood within the framing and have the materials fire resistant so it could withstand fire for one hour long and a third type the exterior walls shall be of incombustible fire resistive construction kumbaga dili siya dali masunog if under a fire on building. So the fourth type is that the buildings shall be of steel, iron, concrete, or masonry construction. The same with the fifth type of construction. And also, delicia dali masunog since ang gamit niya is steel, iron, and nakasimento siya. Ang materials niya is fire resistant. So here are some of the pictures of the types, different types of construction. We can see their differences according to the pictures. So, in the session 4 or 2, if an owner wanted to change the type of construction in their building, then it should be permitted by the building official as you proposed or present your proposal to him or her. Therefore, it should be less hazardous and um, less risky than the previous or existing construction. So the next chapter is a chapter 5, Requirements for Fire Zones. So it is defined here, the fire zone. So what are the fire zones? It is an area within which only certain types of buildings are permitted to be constructed. Since only buildings that are fire resistant or ang materials na gikamit is fire resistant are permitted to be constructed here. But, so if, um, person wanted to move the building their building in an area where it is fire or prone to fire then they should comply to the requirements for building in that fire zone so now let's proceed to the next chapter which is the chapter 6 about the fire resistive requirements in construction so we have here under the section 601 the fire resistive rating so it is defined as the degree to which a material can withstand fire. So, mone siya ang level kung unsa lang makaya sa material na gagamit sa pag-construct sa building ang fire. While we have the section 602, the fire resistive time period rating. So, if ang rating is the degree, then ang time period rating is the length kung the length of time a material can withstand being burned. So, muna siya ang kodugayon sa isa ka material to last long habang nasusunog siya. Either um, or either 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, etc. Depende sa material na gigamit. So, we have here the example. In exterior bearing and unbearing walls, Type 2 and Type 3 construction shall have 1 R fire resistive rating, while those of Types 5 and 4 shall have 4 R fire resistive rating. Nga no, diba, na-discuss na to sa last chapter in Chapter 4 ang Types of Construction. Diba, ang Type 2 and Type 3 is made of wood construction. Therefore, dali radyo siya masunog since it is made of wood. So, maglas lang lang siya for 1 R. Unlike sa type 4 and type 5 na naasya yung material na incombustible which is dilik-dalik masunog since naasya steel, pipes, ano, steel, iron, and concrete. So, dugay din siya mags magsunog. Sa interior bearing walls, the same lang. Sa, ang, ang type 2 and type 4 shall have 1 R fire resistive rating while ang type 5 shall have 3 are fire resistive rating. The same with the structural frames and exterior doors and windows. So that's all. Thank you.